Welcome to Effortless Tennis, an innovative new system for learning and playing the game. The goal of this program is to help everyone discover and develop the great athlete that is a part of each of us. Too few people have experienced this aspect of themselves, not for lack of innate ability, but because they were never shown how nor given the opportunity to develop that talent. The effortless system provides a simple, logical progression for learning the physical, mental, and emotional skills essential to becoming a great tennis player and athlete. Becoming an effortless player is a long-term process or journey that requires a consistent commitment of time and energy. The first step in this journey is learning efficient physical technique. Success in tennis is measured in fractions of seconds. Any wasted motion is too much. Every time we move our feet and swing the racket, a memory of that movement is recorded in our subconscious. As we repeat the same movement, it becomes a habit. Once that movement's a habit, it repeats automatically without our having to think about it. Because there's so little time to react, it's easy to ingrain inefficient strokes and footwork without even being aware of it. Under pressure, no matter what you try to do, you will react automatically with whatever is most deeply programmed. The effortless system not only provides the easiest method for programming the most efficient stroking and footwork patterns, it also enables players to slowly transform inefficient habits to efficient ones. Hello, I'm Brent Zeller, creator of Effortless Tennis. I've been studying the learning process for over 20 years, not only as it relates to tennis, but to all learning. We humans learn in a combination of three ways, verbally through our ears, visually through our eyes, and kinesthetically through the feel of our bodies. By utilizing all three methods, this video and this program are designed to make the learning process more understandable and therefore easier. In addition, two breakthroughs in the Effortless program have made it possible now for many more people to acquire the skills necessary to enjoy this wonderful sport. The first breakthrough came when I removed all competition from the program. I admit that this was a radical move, but from my own extensive research and experience, as well as research from hundreds of scientific studies, I realized the competitive pressures and attitudes not only make learning more difficult, they actually prevent us from attaining our full potential. A competitive emphasis does not allow people the time to develop even basic fundamentals. The focus shifts from learning to the external goal of winning, or at least trying not to lose. Focus on external rewards limits every player's development, even the winners. Because if someone's trying to beat you, it's not possible to play your absolute best. You can play extremely well, but peak performance and optimum learning occur in a cooperative, internalized, process-oriented environment which nurtures all participants' mutual development. The goal in effortless tennis is to achieve excellence without being hindered by the unnecessary psychological obstacles imposed by competition. Learning this sport is difficult enough. We don't need to make it any harder. Effortless players challenge one another to the best of their abilities while simultaneously working cooperatively to sustain the point for as long as possible. We become one another's partner and teacher rather than your opponent. Even though there's no competition in the effortless program, competitive players experience significant improvement by developing not only more efficient strokes and footwork, but also better concentration, greater control and consistency, 
and an enhanced ability to stay relaxed under pressure. All the attributes of a great player, competitive or effortless. In this video, we will be developing and programming the forehand and backhand ground strokes, as well as the footwork that goes with them. These are the two most basic strokes in the game. Both are essential to being a player. You can't get away with just one or the other. The strokes that we will be working on are the simplest, most fundamental forms. These are the foundation strokes. It's important to completely learn these strokes before developing variations such as slice or topspin. Let's start by taking a look at what's happening in super slow motion. First thing that happens is our shoulder turns. It takes the racket back, come down through step, contact, and lift the ball up and over the net. I want you to concentrate on the shoulder. See, shoulder turns here. We switch our grip, racket heads up at head height, step, contact, and lift. See, the eyes are down on contact, tracking the ball the whole way into the strings. Shuffling back, we see it's going to be a forehand. Shoulder turns, the racket heads right at head height, forearm drops, we push off, step in, contact, and lift it over the net. Shuffle back to the middle. See it, we switch the grip, shoulder turns. See everything's perpendicular to the net, step contact and lift and finish straight out in front. Now let's see what it looks like from the side view. Here we are, shoulder turns, racket heads up, we push off, step in, forearm drops, contact, and lift the ball. See the hands right at eye level. Put the other hand back on the racket. We're shuffling, shuffling, waiting to see where the next ball's going. We turn the shoulder, switch the grip, see the racket head right up there at the top of my head. Forearm drops, step, contact, and lift. Look, the eyes down on the ball, where contact was. We shuffle back, racket heads up. We're in the ready position, there you see it, the shoulder turns, racket goes back up there, drop, step, contact, lift up. Shuffle back, ready position, start changing the grip. We see it's coming to the backhand. We turn, step in, contact, lift up. Eyes are on the ball. Shuffle back to the middle. Let's see two more from the front. Here we go. Shoulders turn, racket heads up, forearm drops, step contact and lift up and back to the middle so one more we shuffle 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 we see it's coming to the backhand we turn our shoulders and we take off push off the back foot step contact and follow through straight out in front and back to the middle